updated version because I still publish since the CV's been uh, who inquired about this you sir right and not one of the 72 80 articles has IPV in the title right correct not one of them has IPV it does have trauma but not IPV right and you've never presented on the topic of IPV specifically as a function of trauma and as a function of somatic illness, again, I would say to you that it's part and parcel of these illnesses. So the answer is, yes, I have. Okay. Right. The answer is, yes, I have. And IPV doesn't oh, appear no. in your CV at all. If, if you say it's not in my CV, I will believe you. Okay. There's a lot of things that are not in my CV. I oh, no. And you're not associated with any professional literature on IPV. I'm sorry, repeat the question, sir? Is there any professional literature that you've contributed to relative to IPV specifically as as opposed to trauma general? The objection is not gonna, it's not gonna the pass. The answer to the question still. again, sir, is that you cannot separate this artificial separation you are trying to do between trauma and intimate partner violence. It is part and parcel of trauma. We don't to read it like that. Your Honor, uh, plaintiff would accept this witness as an expert on general psychiatry, but uh, and with respect to the drug usage issues that um, Ms. Bredehoff referenced, but not with respect to IPV. All right, over objection, he's entered as an expert as, as, as uh, stated on the record. All right, you may continue. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Your Honor. Wow, they actually won that. Dr. Spiegel, at our request, yes. what have you reviewed in this case? And just go ahead and give me more So time. it's, a, more it's a lengthy review, but court filings, uh, psychological testing that was done on Ms. Heard by both uh, Dr. Hughes and Dr. Curry. Ego smoked on uh, it. Other physicians, medical records, other physicians, you know, Dr. Kipper. Um, counsel, uh, counselors and therapists that both parties and psychiatrists that they went to. Uh, text messages, depositions. Uh, snippets of uh, the uh, UK trial. Um, Shoveled? No. And I'm sure uh, pictures of uh, physical injuries, so I've, I've seen a lot. What, if anything, have you seen in terms of emails, audios, videos? Things? Yes, so I've seen you videos of uh, uh, Mr. Depp. I think the video was showing right, of uh, Mr. Depp. Uh, destroying, uh, slamming cupboards and breaking glass and yelling at Miss Heard while having a wine glass in his uh, at Miss Heard in his hands. Um, I've seen videos of a uh, destruction of property in the house. Um, okay. Uh, and what, if any, property. review have you conducted of the deposition and testimony of Mr. Depp's uh, hired witness, Dr. Curry? Objection. Sure. Okay. From one understanding, they went over. They went over it really fast. So, they want him to be a, a a professional, an expert in the field of psychiatry, and an expert in IPV, or whatever. So, what they said at the end was that he is qualified to speak as an expert of psychiatry, right? But no IPV uh, uh, specification past that point, correct? So he was kind of like disqualified as an expert. Okay, some of these are going too far. Guys, listen. Listen, some of these are going really far out, boys. Guys, guys, I will actually be on stand. I will actually be on stand next month if this continues like this. Are they done? Jesus Christ!
I mean, so I think he's just being petty, and everybody can, I think everybody can agree to this. I think him speaking as an expert of psychiatry, and him not as an additional expert of IPV, doesn't really matter to the jury or anybody at all. It, it just doesn't. It, do, it doesn't really do anything for anybody. It's just really fucking petty, but it got him, fuck, it got him mauled. Now he's, he's, dude, he's actually schmolding. No, it doesn't. It barely discredits him. I think that his questions initially were good enough. That they, they did enough damage. Okay, this is my opinion. I think his earlier questions that diminish his expertise in that field. In a way, to me, if I was in a jury, I I did feel like it hit, it, it, it struck the point. That like, you know what? Actually, I'm not even being biased about it. I don't think this guy is... From what they're saying in the questions, or how they framed it, is a massive I. Spokibnu ich chceš, len nie tu to chuť. Ochut. Najnovinku majte z extraktom z konope. PV centralized expert. I get it. It's part of umbrella. It's part of his. It's, it's part of his of his field. He just people that had that that go through it and have it, but he doesn't hardcore specialize in that. Specifically. Do you remember my question? Did did you review the, the, uh, the deposition the... and testimony of Dr. Curry? Because you can't I'm Curry. sure you Yes, I reviewed Dr. Yes, I'm sorry. And... Yes, so I reviewed testimony of Dr. Curry, I reviewed Dr. Curry's reports, I reviewed Dr. Curry's testimony. Okay, and what if it, did you review the deposition and trial testimony of Dr. Hughes? It does matter. Yes. Objection, Your Honor, beyond the scope of the disclosure. I, I, I'll allow that. Thank you, Your Honor. Overruled. Did you interview Mr. Depp? No, I did not. Did but you request to interview? I requested to interview Mr. Depp twice, and both times Mr. Depp and his lawyers refused. Fanboy. Dr. Spiegel, I'm going to ask you some questions in this case respecting your opinions and, and the opinions you have formed and the basis for them. And I'm going to ask you to provide me with, in a reasonable degree of medical probability or certainty. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. On what were you requested to analyze and opine in this case? So it's fourfold. Uh, one, I was asked to opine about the risk factors that are associated with intimate partner violence and behaviors that are shown risk factors that are shown in intimate partner violence to be consistent with behaviors that Mr. Depp has demonstrated. Two, I've been asked to opine about the acute effects on alcohol and substance use. And I mentioned that including mood, behavior, cognition, functional impairment. Three, talking about the psychological profile, if you would, of, I'm is there a question? I'm sorry. Oh, no. Okay. Of uh, psychological and medical sequelae of patients who have suffered uh, intimate partner violence and perpetrate intimate partner violence and whether or not Mr. Depp's behavior is consistent with that. And lastly, about uh, alcohol <laughs> and other substance use disorders, their diagnostic criteria, their medical and psychological effects, psychiatric effects, their cognitive effects, and their functional effects. And I I think I would like to just, just go with the jury one other thing. When we talk about, when, we, when psychiatry talks about substance use disorders, I, it's imperative to understand we're not talking about someone who rarely uses and happens to have a bad night. We're not talking about someone who uses on a weekly basis and has a bad night. We're talking about repetitive patterns of behavior one bad night is that all it takes. a list of 11 criteria that could be deemed mild, moderate, or severe. Because I think people get confused when they hear the word substance abuse. You want to know how I got this degree? <laughs> oh, I may have used this because I use it twice. There is a whole criteria of behavior and that, sequelae and consequences that go with a substance use disorder. I'm not just talking about someone who will occasionally smoke a joint or smokes a joint or snorts occasionally coke, okay, or has alcohol on weekends. So I really need to reiterate that because I think when you look at psychiatric behavior, 
we tend to look, people look online and say, my gosh, I have all seven of these, right? And they, they're reading it not quite the way the psychiatric literature is supposed to go. So please, when I'm talking about this, I need you to understand, one, that that's what's going on. As I told you about intimate partner violence, it's horrible that anyone would strike anyone, okay? But again, we're talking about repetitive behaviors for means of control, right? So that's real important to understand when you're moving forward. And I may say occasionally substance abuse, but what I'm referring to is substance Objection abuse. beyond the scope of the question. I, I, I don't know. Sustained. Next question. Okay. Yeah. Dr. He's, Spiegel, he's rambling. Could you please just summarize for the jury the conclusions you came to with your opinions, and then we'll take you through the specifics. So in my opinion, based on my re a review of the evidence, based on my clinical experience, based on my publishing experience, based on my teaching experience, that Mr. Depp has behaviors that are consistent with both someone who has a substance use disorder as well as consistent behaviors for someone who's a perpetrator of intimate partner violence. Thank you. The, the evidence. I'm going to start with the impact of Sir? drug and alcohol abuse over time. First of all, based upon your review of the record evidence, what type of drugs has Mr. Depp used? So Mr. Depp, and I will get, I'm told about use, we're talking about a substance use disorder here. We're not just talking about use, okay? So we are talking about Trust me, bro. alcohol. We are talking about amphetamines. We are talking about marijuana. We are talking about cocaine. We are talking about LSD. We are talking about ecstasy. We are talking about opiates. We are talking about prescription benzodiazepines. And we'll get into a separate thing about the abusability of Seroquel and or Gabapentin in Iran. And we are talking about, much of the time, concurrent use, meaning simultaneously. In your practice, do some patients suggest to you that drugs and alcohol actually help them? So. I think it's pa patients who lack insight or are in the very early stages of recognizing they have a quote unquote problem will sometimes actually say that they have this medication actually calms me down, this medication makes me feel better. And in actuality, they may not acutely feel anything, but chronic and continual use will take its toll on the brain. So the answer is yes, but again, people who have substance use disorders have a very have lack of insight and a lack of judgment about what's going on, the very poor uh, moderates of their own behavior. Has Mr. Depp suggested, based on your review of the record evidence, that alcohol and drugs actually help him? Yes, in review of the evidence, he has suggested that alcohol, uh, Xanax, I'm in the list of medications, do help. Although I will also tell you on review of the evidence that there were at least two times I can remember that uh, Mr. Depp was referring to uh, at least short-lived periods of sobriety, and I cannot exactly tell you what that included, that both times he said that he functioned better and that he recognized that alcohol and drugs was at the root of his problems. Now, there have been, there's been testimony that Mr. Depp is quite charming, both off and on the drugs and the alcohol. What is your answer to that? So, again, let me put one thing clear here. I am not here to impeach Mr. Depp's acting skills or his persona. He has way greater skills than I do in that. What I'm here to say is talk about how drugs and alcohol affect what we all have in common. We're all human beings. We can all only get so much, take so much, when something is going to happen. And that's what I see every day in the emergency room, on the consult service, and in patient psychiatry. Bad things happen, not because of anything special, except we're all human beings, and our brain substance of abuse are not titrated. My, my man needs some water by the FDA. and a new script. We don't know what we're getting. We don't know how much we're getting. There is no control over what makes it to our brain. So it is not the actor. It is not the persona. Okay, it is a person just like the rest of us who are human beings who will have these effects, and that's what we all share in common. 
everyone in this courtroom shares that in common. When Mr. Depp was in his relationship with Amber Heard, was he a poly substance abuser? Was he in what substance abuse? Poly substance yes. abuse. Yes. Can you explain leaving your what that is? Oh, overruled. I mean, overruled. They already said that. I'm sorry. Okay. You already said that. Okay, so poly substance abuse. You said a is lot the use of, of and, and combined. And I answer, like I said, concurrently. Oh. Um, he was. Even while I was getting ready for rehab on the island, he was. So, yes, he did engage in that. Did Mr. Depp's drug and alcohol abuse affect him cognitively? Yes. So, no, nobody. If, if nothing else to look at, uh, Dr. Uh, Blaustein, a psychiatrist at Valley, Mr. Depp, uh, did a mini mental state exam on him. And as part of that mini mental state examination, you're asked to remember three words and then come back five minutes later and repeat those three words. And in the meanwhile, you're getting other types of testing for attention and concentration and visual, spatial, and language. So other things that are being tested too. Um, okay. Mr. Depp was unable to recall any of them. And that is very unusual for a 50-ish. Spochybnuj, čo chceš, len nie túto chuť. Year old male, I don't remember how old he was when he took that. Um, generally speaking, um, uh, that age group should be remembering two or all three of those words. Um, one, I do know that his uh, lines were also fed to him by earpiece. Uh, again, affecting memory. I did see in deposition, I'm sorry, video deposition about having to have uh, questions. I don't want to say repeat as much as completely forgotten. So the answer is yes. And, and you know, any, again, any one of us who use alcohol and cocaine to that level of degree, and I'm talking about a severe level of substance use disorder, are going to have effects it is inescapable because we all have brains that are malaffected by extensive substance use, and potentially sometimes less. If he didn't but examine Depp pers personally, extensive. why is he drawing medical conclusions what based any, on two uh, random things? Did you, did you observe from the record evidence about Mr. Depp having difficulty focusing, his attention span, processing, whether he could function as an actor? So, Objectoring compound. I, compound is only oh, if it's overruled. Thank you. He has an earpiece so for his again, lines. In terms of the acting drugs, part, we do I mean, know that he needed his lines fed to him for movies. Part of that could have been also due to, uh, and see? I don't know which movie, and please forgive me about that, that he actually confessed he did a movie entirely wasted. So I imagine it would be harder to do that. Um, additionally, like I said, when I looked at that position, you can tell that the processing speed was down, his thinking rate was down. If your thinking rate is down, and I'm not talking about it again, I'm getting older, my, I'm probably not as sharp as I was at 25, okay? But I'm talking about it so slow that when we're trying to move on to other questions, we're still trying to answer the original data that's presented to us. So attention span is very much impaired. And if your attention span is impaired, your memory is going to be impaired. It is inescapable that that's going to happen. So all that comes into play, and that's what I witnessed in the uh, in the uh, uh, video deposition. Ir Fortunately, ironic for Mr. Depp, I do see that during this trial, that's, that's, that's what he's been doing. So, uh, his cognition has improved some, which will happen if you are sober. Uh, so I commend him on that. Says uh, you. But again, I'm specifically referencing the time with Ms. Hearns and Mr. Depp's relationship. So we're talking about that. What, if any, uh, uh, observations from the record evidence did you have about Mr. Depp having alcoholic blackouts or foggy mind? Again, there were reported times where he would be essentially, quote unquote, passed out drunk. You saw pictures of him passed out drunk and not being able to remember what he did, which is, again, if you look at the record evidence, you will see that and this is linking intimate partner violence and substance use um, together. I know we're going to get to that. Who asked? Which is basically, if you have blackouts and you're using alcohol or using cocaine, 
it's going to be near impossible to remember what happened the night before. I don't think I'm the first person that's ever told you that alcohol can cause blackouts. And basically, alcohol uh, decreases a brain chemical, glutamate, which is involved in memory formation. If it blocks that to an extensive degree, the individual cannot remember what happened because they didn't have enough time. What about in combination with cocaine, though? To process the memory, we need this brain chemical. So does alcohol blackouts happen every time? So, no, of course not. But are they a complication of a use disorder? Absolutely, yes. And there was record evidence. Does cocaine not cut through that a little Dr. bit? Dr. Spiegel, you said at one point alcohol and cocaine. Is it possible to have blackouts with alcohol and different types of substances? Yes, I think so, it kind of does. Uh, my clinical experience, and I'll be, I'll date it back within the last month, uh, we had a patient who was using both, especially cocaine, and she had these kind of stroke-like lesions around the brain center known as the hippocampus, which is involved in memory formation. So Objection combined, relevance. Just giving an yeah. example. Overruled. Combining the two subs together increases the likelihood, even if you don't get what is a major stroke. And again, we think of a major stroke as someone who has speech difficulties and movement difficulties. There's a lot of different types of stroke that can just affect cognition. They don't necessarily have to have severe movement deficits or severe language deficits. They can solely affect you in terms of your cognitive symptoms and actually known as a vascular neurocognitive disorder. So, oh my God, I, get I, some water, man. That's part of the, Holy. the psychiatric diagnosis. You need to understand that you can have these insults, <laughs> these lesions, these strokes without demonstrating physical features and at a minimal, we know that he was using both substances concurrently, and in the middle, we know he had cognitive issues that we talked about, or at least had some of them. Thank you, Dr. Spiegel. What, if any, correlation is there between domestic abuse, heavy alcohol abuse, and cognitive disorders? So, um, the risk factors, if you would, for intimate partner violence. You're like 50X? Okay. And they're probably many of them, I don't have time to go over all of them, but the ones in particular, characters in particular, are one, having someone in the relationship who is jealous or suspicious. Two, having someone who has an, a, a higher than average acceptance of violence ideations. Three, someone who has rapid and extreme mood shifts. Four, someone who has limited self-control. One of the roles of cognition one of the roles of our brain it's a free is talk. to prevent inappropriate behaviors and acting out on thoughts. We all get angry at people. That's human. We all get angry at people. We all think things about people. The difference is when our brains are intact and working well, most of us don't act them out. Okay? Most of us do not act them out. So that's, part, part, that's because your frontal lobe and other parts of the brain are involved in making sure these negative thoughts don't get acted on, okay? So when you have the effects of alcohol, acutely, it causes disinhibition, which means you are, by definition, losing control and having rapid mood swings. Two, you are affecting parts of the brain that are involved in what we call social processing clues. He's going to get mad during cross. So you I can no never tell. can interpret what's in front of you that is, I would say, Cross right or will wrong never let him do that. act on and what I shouldn't act on. So we act on them. Even though sober, and I've seen it in with Mr. Depp's, uh, Depp, uh, Mr. Depp's uh, record evidence, I've seen it clinically. You can't cross them. Sober, we can contain that. Why not? We can contain that. But when you have these mixtures together, knowing, by the way, that about 40 up to 60% of intimate partner violence is, is uh, 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 done under the influence of alcohol and or substance use disorders, okay, knowing that treating it gets it better, improves, I'm not saying it removes it, but improves it. Hearing from Mr. Depp's own uh, text to Dr. Kipper, that he was better with that, that things are going better, will show you that given those confluence of factors, given them all lining up the risk factors, combined with something that when any of us, any of us 
used to a certain amount. It, it, if we're not it, sad, it'll be trying to be so less. relatable. Uh... If we're more experienced and more tolerance dependent, it's going to take a lot more. But inevitably, will make us disinhibited and will make tired. us act out. And acting out on, can be done in a lot of different ways, an intimate part of violence, okay? With also remembering control is the end game of intimate part of violence. So that's how they basically interact in a nutshell. He's playing Clash he's Royale. Playing. He's doodling. Have, he, I, I have quite a bit more. Let, let's go ahead this and This guy didn't know what he's doing anymore. Recess, ladies and gentlemen, just do not discuss the case and don't do any outside research. Judge we'll got bored. She's going to want to I'm go sorry. watch TV. 15 minutes. Like, just, right. Talk, we'll man. No, no. We're just taking a break. This guy, look. It, it, what the fuck? All right, let's just take a break till 11 then. And we'll come back at 11, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Stop toasting him. Imagine he was your dad. Sag, guys, what the fuck is this emote? It's a, that's not even real. Stop toasting him. Imagine he was your dad. Sag, nicotine abuser. That is not an emote, dude. That is not. That does not exist. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a chatter. I thought you thought it was an emote. Christ. What is this? Amber, new deck, the uh, expert, Dr. Spiegel, is apparently accused of driving. The expert. We can't. Oh, it's a Google review, yeah, from three years ago. Um, um, I think what they're trying to do, okay, so in my opinion, what, okay, so let me explain, let me explain. This is all my opinion, okay? Okay, so don't get mad at me. In my opinion, what they're trying to do, okay, is do um alcohol, right? And then, and then, and then, and then, uh, uh, and other abuses. So we we'll call this uh, other abuse, right? I feel like they're trying to get, in my opinion, right now, we're trying to do now, trying to get these two and get it to uh, IPV, right? And say, so oh, alcohol uh, it makes it you more likely, more whatever. And look, he did take the alcohol because of this evidence, that, this, 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 that. And he did take the drugs, and those do this, 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 that. And those do that in, in, in interpersonal relationships and trying to get there. But I think, I think the problem uh, is that uh, somehow, somehow, they're making certain conclusions or they're jumping steps, right? $50 a day, a, a day for your jury duty. If you don't do it, you go to jail. Are you a professional of mechanical engineering? 
No, you are not. Uh, maybe you're gonna go to it's, it's some engineering against the state debate bullshit, dude. And you're not, you're not, you, I would assume if you are professional or whatever, you are not qualified to be a, a, a jury for that. Man. This guy, that's what he was talking about, like Twitter science. To literally zero heads, zero heads. And I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? Um, Johnny's Depp lawyer, their questions were pretty dog shit, but somehow it looked like they were coming out on top. Somehow. What? That's how it appeared to me. And it's hard because data is data. Well, also data is, is almost impossible to... Um, it's, not, it's, it's incredibly hard to have um, conclusions on data, especially with social media and uh, impressions. Impressions and shit are more... Uh, they're, they're, they're incredibly complicated data. They're, they're incredibly complicated.